Hello everybody and welcome to today's video and today we're going to talk about pressure and putting pressure on the nose and getting the horse to give his nose to pressure when he likes to hold his head up high. All right, today I am here with Ranger the Curly Horse and Ranger has mainly just been bitless and today we are working in a S-shaped hackamore and uh, this is not a mechanical hackamore but it is a shanked hackamore that puts pressure and on the nose band we've got a sheepskin lined liner so and we've just got a plain leather strap underneath so we're really not going to put very much pressure on him at all but what we want is we need for him to start building his top line and the way to work with things on the ground uh, on the saddle is going to be on the ground and what we want him to do instead of having a head like a giraffe we want him to be able to bring his head in and that's going to help him work these muscles right in here on his top line so what we're going to do is teach him the concept on the ground first so here we go first of all what we're going to do is we're going to try to get nice and even if you can see right here my hands are going to be even with pressure now it might be a kind of cool idea if you had some range that if you actually had uh, some tape on them where you can actually measure how you're going to put the pressure. But it's going to be really important that I'm going to have my hands on either side of the horse and pulling to a specific direction. So instead of starting all the way up here where my hands would be, I'm going to ask him to give to pressure lower, which is going to encourage him to bring his head down. So in order to do this, my hands are going to have to be right in here. So what we do is we use the concept of ask, suggest, demand. And I'm going to put my hands even on both sides, and I'm just going to give a little pull, and he gives, I give. So a little pull, he gives, I give. Pull, and he gives, I give. Wow, he's really got the concept of this really nicely. So he's already starting to put his head down. Yay, that makes my life so much easier. Now, I'm going to move over here where I'm gonna put my hand across his neck. And so I have my hand over here even. So I'm gonna pull right here, there we go. See how we had a little bit of a dip? Here we go. And he gave. Ready and dip, there we go. And you can see what I want his head to do is I want his head to line up with the perpendicular. But I also want him to be a, there we go, to be able to dip his head as soon as I put pressure. Now, I'm only using my thumb and my forefinger right here. It's like picking the flower. And I'm keeping my hands really low over here. So we're going to pull and release. Now, I can use forefinger and just open up and release by making the OK sign. So right here, there we go. So the fact that he's got this part is really, really good. That's the very, very beginning is when you ask for pressure, then they release. Step two. Now we're gonna move to where my hand would be in the saddle. So I'm gonna do the same concept. My hand is over his wither and I'm gonna pull and release. But I need him to walk forward just a little bit. There we go, there we go. And boo, boo. I need him to go forward, forward, forward. I get his nose. There we go, and I release. He wasn't moving at that moment. There we go. I'm asking him to move towards me. That's good. So, he's shown me that he's already figured out this concept that he needs to give his nose when I ask him to give his nose. And he's starting to push that. Now the next step is going to be doing that while in the saddle. So thank you so much for joining us on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We're going to be putting out new content all the time. Hey, where are you going?